She really sucked. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the garage. It's actually raining today, so it's a perfect opportunity to do something I've wanted to do for quite a long time, and that is make a 26, 27 and a half inch mullet. And the bike for choice of this is gonna be my slope duro. You can see it's set up right now, 27, 27. So I'm gonna change that. We're gonna actually put a 26 inch wheel on the back here. Normally a mullet normally goes 29 at the front, 27 at the back. And the idea is that the smaller wheel at the back is more agile, more fun, kind of doesn't get up in, the, in your way a bit, but the front one's big for all the grip. So we're gonna do that, but just one step down with the 27 front and the 26 wheel on the back may be better for tricks, for sort of jibs, because this bike's a small frame, 140 mil travel, so it's just sort of built for fun really. It can be sort of half dirt jump, half down hilly bike. So I think with a 26 it might be even cooler. Let's find out. So one unfortunate thing about 26 inch these days is that your tire choice is slightly more limited, but luckily came to make this kind of knobbly tire. I'd like something a bit knobbly, but this is actually gonna be quite smooth, so good for dirt jumps as well, but crazy light, it's like a cross country tire. So um, I think that's gonna be perfect for this. Might not give us all the grip we need out in the wet today, but that should be fun anyway, so let's stick it on. Well, epic actually. Goes round, goes Stops. round. <laughs> I'd say that is a success so far. Let's put a less knobbly tire on the front. We don't want it to have so much grip on the front and less in the back. I think it's better to be a bit more balanced. So let's put a faster rolling, less gnarly tire on the front. Then dirt jumpy seat for bar spins and like, just to make it look cooler. And then off we go. Nice, there it is. Wow, that is light now. Oh. Nice. Let's go give it a go. Actually looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Looks a bit strange, but I quite like it. So we've come out into the garden. You see it's still wet from all the rain, but we're going to give it a couple goes, see what we can do, maybe on the ramp, and then uh, go try it out on the downhill courses which is going to be exciting in the wet. I've not ridden them for like six months. And then, uh, yeah, maybe we'll go to some jumps later to really see how much of a good sort of slope style, slope duro bike it is. But yeah, let's start off in the garden, make sure everything's done up, unlike at the mountain. <laughs> how was that? Really good. Mud went in my eyes at the takeoff because there's actually like a bit of a bog down there. But first impression, sick, it's so light with that little back wheel and super light tires. Yeah, really cool. Give it a few more goes. Yo! That was cool. Can't want to do a three, but look how wet the ramp is and uh, how wet my tires are. But it's actually raining again, so it's only going to get worse. So I feel like I just need to crack on with it. Lovely wet ramp. Oh, yeah, it's dry at the top. But now you can see the raindrops before it gets wetter. Yup! Just about pulled it round. I under rotated a bit because I didn't want to pull too hard off the lip. Yeah. I'll try and do a bit of a better one. Nice! Yeah, that's sick. Quite cool, snuck a little table in there. Yeah, that'd be very sick. Kind nice of rushing one. through stuff because the ramp's getting wetter and wetter. There's one more trick I have to do, which is tail whip, because then I'll really see if the light small back wheel has made a difference. It does feel nice to three, so should be good to tail whip. <laughs> oh, I completely oh. missed that. I clipped my pedal on the, on the running. I think, oh. That actually really sucked. <laughs> that looks a big one, especially as your over, bike's there. Yeah, you know, I went over the bars to here. <laughs> my, I literally like went in and hit my pedal. Wonder if that's because the back wheel's like a bit smaller than I'm used to. Oh. Ow. <laughs> that, was, that was in my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> so gutted I missed that. Oh, my hand literally fell off the bar and I just died at the bottom. Let's try again. Try again. Yo! I almost flipped off the back because <laughs> yeah. I thought the bike was going to pull me forward, so I leant back light and then it didn't pull me forward that much. I'll try another one and get it a bit cleaner. That was a good one. Yeah. Nice. A couple of tail whips in the bag. Definitely easier than it was before, which is quite cool. But I did expect that. Um, Let's give it a go through the jumps. Yeah, oh, nice. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. Let's do a few tricks. Nice suicide. Bar spin. Oh. What's he got in the last? Huge three. What happened on the bar spin? <laughs> you don't even want to know actually. We almost had our second huge crash of the day. It's actually raining quite hard now, isn't it? Should we yeah. go hide in the shed for a little bit till it stops? Sounds good. So whilst we're hiding away from the rain, and I'm pretty sore in here, it's time to tell you about the quick deal we've got for you guys from today's video sponsor, Ritual. Ritual is giving you 20% off your first order to create a habit that lasts. Do you have a perfect diet day in, day out? No, me neither. So maybe these vitamins are good for you as well. They help fill in the gaps of your diet with no shady additives, fillers, or colorants to support a strong foundation for your health. They use 100% recycled materials for packaging and even use plant-based ink. Essential for Men 18 Plus contains 10 high quality nutrients like vitamin A, D, omega-3 and zinc which is hard for us to get in our diet. Essential for Men is designed just for men but they also have some for women, postnatal, prenatal, 50 plus and teens. It's for everyone, not just for athletes. Mm. Mm. It's only a dollar a day delivered direct to your door, no strings attached. Plus, Ritual are giving 20% off just for you guys using the link below and using code SAMR20. So, what are you waiting for? But anyway, it's stopped raining now, but unfortunately it is much too wet down here on the jump. So, let's go shred some of the downhill tracks up there. Can't really see much of the track. No, <laughs> we haven't ridden it for too long, hey? It's covered in leaves and sticks and everything. But it's all still there. Let's hit some turns. Definitely gonna let a bit of pressure out. Had 50 in there for the jumps. Here we go. How does the bike feel? The small wheel, loose tyres? Feels like riding a scooter down the hill. It's actually so fun. And it's so slippy as well with the leaves. You don't really know if you've got any grip, but as long as you stay in the ruts, you kind of got some good ones. Let's uh, launch the famous triple into the berm. <laughs> Look at it, it's proper destroyed. That needs some love, doesn't it? It needs a full rebuild. And we've got such a good area, we should definitely make some good tracks this winter. Coming soon, got some good ideas. Watch out. Oh! <laughs> Great turn. Great turn. It's one of the best. You can really rip it like every time. Amazing. Oh, oh, oh. 
like top to bottom with a tail whip. Let's see. Good lap. Oh no. Ah, oh, have I got a puncture? Oh no. Look, listen. Ah. Oh. Huh. Annoying. Uh, um, I guess that's why you don't use cross country stuff and those super light inner tubes. But luckily, we're still at my house, so I'll just get another one from the garage and then uh, we'll go to Milford Street, do some jumps, because that was about as good as it gets I reckon. Full run and a tail up at the bottom. This new jump is like so good on all bikes. And actually this bike's so cool. But yeah, we know it's good on tricks. We know it's good on the downhill. Let's go to the actual dirt jumps and um, yeah, see they're super technical jumps. So it's definitely gonna uh, push the limits of what we can do. But let's go there, see if we can do a few tricks before it gets dark. So here we are, last spot of the day up at S4P. As you can see, a mega crew here. So we can have a little sesh, um, yeah, before it gets dark. Start off on the small line and then see how this thing goes through the big end. That was that pretty small line then. Pretty good. I actually got like three adjustments on the shock for soft, for the downhill, all the way to firm on the jumps. I'm just trying out a few different settings on that as well. But um, yeah, let's give the big ones a go. See if we can carry enough speed. That's really good. Right, my challenge then is to get a trick run going all the way through. See what we can do. Yeah, what a run. That was a sick run first time. This bike the best. Oh, almost the best. That's that actually... insane, <laughs> run. That's Tom the best. This bike's even better than I thought it could ever be. I thought you could do like some one-off tricks, like on the ramp, but I didn't know you could come and put them back to back in a run. That was sick. I'm gonna do a few more. Well, there it is. What an epic day. That was one of those days where it was raining all morning, rained a bit in the afternoon. I didn't know if we are going to be able to do anything, but we gave it a go and it actually turned out amazing. The 26 mullet actually is on to a winner, I reckon. That's the most fun I've ever had on this bike and we just rode some wet jumps. So, I think big things like 360 tail whips could be possible on this jump, on this bike, sorry. So, um, I'm definitely going to make some more through this winter. Where do you reckon we should go take it? I reckon Wogan would be really good, wouldn't it? That'd be super good. Wind Hill, Rogate. So yeah, keep an eye out. Thanks everyone for watching. If you could like this video, that'd be awesome. It'd really help us out. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching as always. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers.